Welcome to Electro Online. Another really handy skill in physics is the ability to convert one unit into another. For example, let's say we have something in, expressed in feet and we want to convert it to meters. Now there's a lot of ways in which you can go from feet to meters. You can go directly when you know the conversion factor or you can go from feet to inches, from inches to centimeters and from centimeters to meters. Just to illustrate it, we're going to go ahead and do it like this. It's not, of course, the fastest way to do it. But the way you do that is you write down the number that you have for 24.5 feet and then when you want to convert that to inches you know that you're going to have to multiply that times a conversion factor. Go like this, you're going to convert from feet to inches so you want to have feet and inches there. Now the question is what goes on the numerator and what goes on the denominator? Well since you have feet in the numerator here to get rid of it you need to have feet in the denominator here so I'm going to write feet in the denominator and inches at the top what I want to go to. So I want to go from feet to inches. So here I write feet in denominator, inches at the top. Notice I'm not worried yet about the conversion from one to the other and what the number should be. Once I've established where the inches and the feet are supposed to go, the numerator denominator, it then becomes easy to realize that there's one feet, uh, one foot to 12 inches or 12 inches to one foot and then you know where to properly put the numbers. Now we want to convert inches to centimeters. Again, the same principle. We're going to multiply times the conversion factor. If I want to get rid of inches here, I need to have inches in the denominator in such a way that the inches will cancel out, which means I want centimeters in the numerator. And now the conversion is that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Of course, if you don't know the conversion factor, you'll have to look them up. Finally, we want to convert from centimeters to meters. Again, we're going to have to convert, uh, multiply times the conversion factor. I want to get rid of centimeters, which means centimeters needs to occur in the denominator here. So that this centimeters will cancel out without centimeters. That means I need meters in the numerator. One meter is 100 centimeters. If you do it like this, all you have to worry about is what you want to get rid of and then you want to put that unit in the opposite place. If this is in the numerator, you want to get rid of that, you want to put feet in the denominator here. Here you want to get rid of inches in the numerator, you want to put in the denominator here. Here you want to get rid of centimeters in the numerator, you want to put it in the denominator there. Then you put the other unit in the other location, top or bottom, and then you put in the proper conversion. Of course, one meter is 100 centimeters, one inch is 2.54 centimeters, one foot is 12 inches. Then you can see that this foot cancels out this foot, inches cancels out inches, centimeters cancels out centimeters, and I'm left over with meters. All I have to do is multiply all the numbers that are there. In other words, I take 24.5, multiply times 12, multiply times 2.54, and then divide by 100. And I get 7.4676. Of course, since I have three significant figures here, I should have three significant figures in the answer. So this should become 7.47 meters. Now, you may say, well, wait a minute. Since you multiplied all these numbers and there's only two significant figures here, there's three significant figures there. And of course, one to 100, this is three significant figures here. Since there's only two here, shouldn't you only have two significant figures in the answer? The answer is no, that's not correct. It should still be three because here the number of inches in a foot is exactly 12, 12.0, 12.00, 12.000, and onward forever. So since this is an exact conversion, and since this is an exact conversion, and since this is an exact conversion, we do not have to worry about any uh, what limitations on the number of significant figures. That means the end result here should therefore have the same number of significant figures as the number that you started with. And this is therefore the correct way of doing it. So that's how we do that. In the next video, I'll show you some examples with some other conversions to see how that is done.